Today I'm gonna to show you the inside of the Smart Factory OWL. Let's go inside and see the facilities here. Okay, inside the smart factory, you will see a lot of technologies for different parts of the industry. All these machines and robots are for industry 4 to automate the industry and bring the technology to the next level. For example, this intelligent system here is equipped with a lot of sensors, make it possible to record data in linked production line. So this is a control module that uses several uh, sensors in the production line to gather the data and information and send it to the monitoring system. For example, this system lets you to uh, store this information, this data, process it, and you maybe you, you can use AI systems to uh, analyze this data and maybe increase the efficiency. The next section is the cybersecurity field of the production. Uh, you need to protect your hardware, which is connected to the internet from the from the cyber attacks. So you need a security system. This uh, training data helps the company analyze the safety critical aspects of the industry four. Get to know the industry four use cases. Implement secure industry four communication with OPC UA. Using these security levels, we can apply attack technologies and secure network in infrastructure according to the IEE. This security system is develop, developed uh, by Professor Otto. He was one of my professors in this first semester for uh, for an IT course. It's, it was Python course, I think. And here we have the 5G communication system and they are basically using this system to communicate in real time without you uh, losing the data in a real time and they have connected the system to a robot it's a machine uh, it's also basically it's a small car and as you see they are receiving and sending the data in a real time and it has a lot of use cases for internet of the things so you can control the uh, things inside your house or in the industry in a real time using this 5G communication system. So it is a crucial aspect of the industry for in the future. We will see this technology a lot in the industry. And these days, uh, some some doctors use this technology to operate some surgeries. So it's it is very high technology. They also have several high-tech CNC and robotic machines here so if in your field of study you requires to use some CNC machines to cre create some physical uh, physical things and so they have these technologies inside the university so you can use these machines here or for some people for some students who are working in IT industrial IT section and they have to program these robots to do their to do a specific job. Uh, I know some of my friends also working in this area. They are, for example, programming these uh, robot robotics arms so they can play uh, chess. So it's really nice to have these uh, technologies inside the university. For the explanation of the this section, it is written that we work with you to develop tailor-made solutions. What does it mean? They are basically using these detection sensors to detect the error or fault in the system uh, in advance. So uh, finding these errors early so they can use the machine behavior to solve these problems and faults before it gets a problem in the industry, in the company. So they are analyzing the operation, the process system, and abnormal uh, behavior of the machine with using these systems. Or this section of the smart factory, you can see the energy optimization. Until today, orders have been processed in order. For example, if a machine has something to do, some tasks to do, it, this machine doing this task in order when they arrive to the machine. So using AI and optimizing these tasks, 
uh, this machine, for example, decides to do which task in which task first, so optimize the pr process so it can be energy efficient and maybe decrease the energy usage and increase the efficiency. For example, when the machine receives several tasks at the same time and it will decide which one takes less time and less energy and effort so it will do the task first so it will optimize on average it is written here it saves 10 to 15 percent of the energy and maybe the time so this is a crucial aspect of the intro, uh, industry for to save more energy we don't have that much energy in the world so it's really important in big companies saving 10 to 15 percent of the energy it's a huge amount of the energy so this is also interesting and uh, and as you can see here this machine is here to, for uh, authenticating uh, forgery and Xenium money so it is detecting the money maybe taking pictures or using gray levels uh, matrix to detect the forgery uh, banknote and finally here you can see uh, the X10 is a modular assistance system to expand the user's physical work environment to a visualized process so when people work in the uh, company in a warehouse it is using the cameras and the sensors to uh, visualize the people's working area and their efficiency in the working area so it is watching and monitoring the people who work in this area and this is already used in china to, to monitor the employees and this is basically the same thing to increase the efficiency and basically see who is working properly and who is not efficient enough. And also this section is related to the farming industry. These sensors and uh, machines here, these engines uh, used for automation in the storage of the corn, for example, they are um, uh, automating this. So it is written here that for the delivery, they have some sensors to control the amount of the uh, corn they want to deliver. And basically they are using a lot of sensors and machines and AI to process this data and control and automate this process. This was only a part of the smart factory. There are other machines here you can use during your study to uh, develop your ideas or do some projects and research projects with your professor. Just look at this board. Different sections by different companies. Phonics, Cloud, Ace, Tosibiax, Vago, White Muller, Fraunhofer, Philosophia, and Schwa. If you want to be one of the students who use these facilities, so apply to this university and enjoy the facilities here. Don't forget that these machines here and this automation is for Industry 4 and they are very high-tech and the edge of the technology. So you will work with these machines, learn how to use them and find the proper job in the technology and in the industry and you will have a good income. So don't lose the time and apply as soon as possible. And until the next video, see you soon. Bye.